Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. <laughs> Today is another exciting day. So several of you wondered, you know, that whether the, the video that I did with uh, the Unreal Engine 5 preview number two, if it was real time, right? Uh, so you're wondering, was it uh, something else that I did with the reflections or anything like that? So here I have uh, some of my ray tracing settings that I used, okay? You can see that. But before I do that, let me just play back so you can actually see. So this is playing back in real time, guys. <laughs> this is real time. This is not pre-rendered. This is real time in the Unreal Engine 5 preview using Lumen. So I have Lumen enabled and I have the uh, component that I, camera share component that I added here and I have it looped. So it's playing back in real time and you can see the quality of that. And I think what's making this possible, I mean, I could be wrong, but I think the RTX 3090 card that I have is making a difference. Now I've read somewhere that, uh, you know, hopefully the Unreal Engine 5 and Lumen will be agnostic, you know, when it comes to graphics cards, but the machine that I'm using is a, a custom workstation that uh, was built by Puget Systems. And I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can see what specs that I am using. But this is real time. It's playing back in real time. And so let me see, just in case people think that it's just cropped. If I kick out of this, right, and I zoom in real quick. So this is real time, guys playing back in real time and the environment looks awesome this is unreal engine 5 at its best like super duper awesome All right and if i keep back to our camera and then rewind and then play back and there you have it so for everyone else out there who was wondering if this is a, a real time, yes, it's real time. It's not pre-rendered. <laughs> it's playing back in real time. <laughs> and let me bring back another, uh, let me try another camera angle. So let's try this guy right here. Let's go here and let's play real quick. And I'll try another one after this. Play. So that is real time, guys real time this is in, in real time all right let's uh try another camera and uh, let's try this one over here and click to the right and i think the one shot that i i was using it was this one like right here that you saw in the video so if i play back you can actually see the nice shallow depth of field the reflections that is all real time so if you're wondering what this was all about, and let me do like F11. So this is the Unreal Engine 5 preview number two. And I did a test with this uh, environment. This is a restaurant that uh, was made available for free in the marketplace. And so when you get a chance, try, out, try it out yourself, you know, and see how it looks on your end. But uh, you, you'll be able to get the same results if you have a similar setup that I have. So I'll put a link in the description of my uh, machine, the specs of that. So, and I'm always, always super grateful to the uh, Puget system team that uh, helped me put this uh, to get together. This machine It's actually a custom Unreal Engine workstation. So it's really geared towards uh, rendering for the Unreal Engine. So as always guys, uh, dare to dream big. <laughs> you do not give up on your dream. It's an awesome day to be alive. And I mean, look at what, you know, we we're able to do in real time. This is almost like path tracing. That's what's crazy about it. You know, there was a time when we struggled with path tracing, path tracing, if I can say it right. But now with this uh, uh, update with the Unreal Engine 5, with Lumen, uh, it, it's, things are looking so much better, so much better, man. And also something else that I, I forgot to mention is that all my lights, right? Let me bring up my lights. So when I go to my lights over here, guess what? Every single one of them is set, the samples are set to 128. So that's why a good you need a good machine to be able to handle this. All my rectangular lights are set to samples of 128. 
And also the point lights are also set to 128, right? And I'm I'm losing I'm using lumen. Oops. Let's get the post processing volume first. And I'm definitely using uh, lumen for the global illumination. And I can even let's actually turn turn this on. Let's crank it up <laughs> all the way. Uh, detail. Let's crank it up. Let me see what happens. You know, final gather, all that. Let's just crank it up and then play back and see. So let's rewind and play back. <laughs> yeah. This is uh this is Lumen, guys. This is actually uh Lumen in real time in the Unreal Engine 5 uh preview number two. So I can't wait for this to become like available uh so that we can actually start rendering, you know, with uh short films and all that. So again, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh if it, you know someone wondered if this was unreal, they couldn't believe it, but neither could I. I was like, oh my gosh, you mean we can do this now in this day and age? You know, so it, it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. This is this is amazing. Uh, it's just totally, totally amazing. So, man, being able to actually get the camera shake in real time is also really cool. Super, super cool. So anyway, thank you so much, guys. Uh, if you have a minute to spare, do please uh, subscribe uh, to my channel. And thank you so much for helping me to get to 14,000 subscribers. Help me get to... 20 I and have been a hundred thousand subscribers thank you to all my patrons out there guys i truly appreciate your support and uh, this is the video that i was referring to that uh, many of you were asking so i hope i answered that question guys so again it's in the the settings are lumen related uh and also ray tracing you know the reflections and all that it's it's in there you can do it yourselves because this uh this is free so <laughs> dare to dream, to dream big guys and as always I'm praying for you please stay safe much love to every one of you out there and bye for now